Hi, I'm Rachel Donegan. I am the Howe Libraries Emerging Technologies Librarian, and I am here to show you how to make something every week. This is Howe Makers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Howe Makers. I'm Rachel Donegan, and I am here in Studio H. And this is a quick tutorial on how to set up the BBC Microbit. Here's the box right here, the BBC Microbit um, for the iPad or iPhone. So there is another video where I talk about how to do it on a computer, um, but for the Make, Invent, and Code Club, as well as our kits that are loanable, um, you can also have the option of using an iPad to code your Microbit. So that's what this tutorial is about. Um, so what you'll need for this one, you'll need um, your Microbit. It comes in a little um, electrostatic protective pouch. We're gonna take that out. You need your battery pack because we're not hooking it up to the computer, so it needs power. Normally it would get it through the USB cord, but we're not going to use one for this tutorial. And you're also going to need the batteries that come with, and these are um, AAA. They're little guys. Um, so we're going to open those up. There we are. Here's our battery pack. Just open it up. Slide that open like that. The flat side goes on the, the flat end, the negative end goes on the springs. Like that. Doot. Just slide your cover back on. It's always easier said than done, figuring out which way it goes. There we go. Oops. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we have this little tiny connector here that's going to go into our microbit. You can hear my 3D printer firing up there. Um, so here's the microbit. And where we're going to put the battery pack is this little white port right here. And we're going to just do it really carefully so we don't break anything. All right, so our microbit has power. It is connected to the battery pack. I'm going to set that aside so we can look at the app side of things. I'm going to open that up. So the app looks like, um, or the icon looks like a little green oval with two eyes, like a little robot face. That's how you'll know you have the right one. Um, I'm going to go back to the home page here, which um, the first one says choose microbit. So that is what you want to do. And it's going to want to pair a new one. So it's currently attached or connected via Bluetooth to the last micro bit that I uh, connected to this iPad. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this one so that we can program it. Um, so we are going to tap pair a new micro bit and it tells us what to do, which is to, we're going to hold the A and the B buttons down, which are here in the front. Um, and then we are going to push the reset button on the back and release it. Then we're going to release the A and the B buttons. And you do have to leave these held for a little while. If it doesn't work, if you, you just keep seeing this basically and that flashing we see in the beginning, just do it again. Just keep doing it until it works. So I'm going to hold these two down. I like to do it with two hands. Hold these two down, hold the reset button, and let go. Okay, perfect. So we got this little code right here. This is a little visual code that we're going to enter into the iPad so that it pairs this micro bit with this iPad. So we're going to hit next because we successfully uh, got through the resetting portion. So here we're just going to follow the code here. So it looks like the first one is just two. Um, the next one is also two. So we have that. The next one's five. And then it looks like four dots and then two. Okay, so when we think that this one, the two match here, we will go next. This is ready to pair. All right. And it's just asking, uh, the, we're trying to get permission from the Bluetooth, so we do want to give it permission. Do make sure your Bluetooth is on, um, on, enabled on your iPad, so that it's able to connect to Microbit. So it says it wants me to press reset on Microbit. Pairing successful. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to make sure that it is connected and I'm going to go to my create code. 
and I've loaded in this little code that just says on start show icon heart. Oops, you can see it better. Um, so I'm going to flash that code to my microbit to see that, make sure that it's paired. So I have a little download button right here. I'm going to push that. And it says flashing code to microbit and to not touch anything. This process can take um, about a minute or so. Um, we also do have a USB cable in your kit. If you want to do this on a computer, you are welcome to. Then it's all just through the web. Um, just search Microbit website and then search and then uh, select Make Code within that. Um, so you can just use a regular computer. Um, but because for Make Invent Code Club, we have um, requested that everyone have an iPad. Um, that way you can use the iPad for this project and you can use it for the vinyl and laser cut projects that we're also going to do later in the series. All right, so if this works, we should see a heart on our micro bit. It looks like it's almost finished, so hopefully we will have... Hey, look at that. Awesome. So that code that I had previously put on the iPad is now on my micro bit. Um, and this one will, this program will stay on the micro bit until I put another program onto it. So, um, so it says successful, okay. So now I can write another code. Again, flash it to the micro bit. Um, so that's how you set up micro bit on the iPad. Back to camera one. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.